So yesterday we did the King of the Mountain attempt up the Two Dons climb, which if you haven't watched yesterday's video, I highly recommend you do so, it was a really fun day. But the sun was on the left side of the climb, and therefore on the left side of my face. And as you can see, it now looks like I've got some dodgy makeup on. But the thing is, it's only on that side, and I've not got a helmet strap line on this side. <sighs> Good morning, welcome back to the vlog. Today's a rest day. Just gonna do an easy hour today, head down to the cafe with the lads. You know the score. But uh, like it's cold today and there's, there's quite a lot of cloud in the sky. I think this is the, the first day where I've genuinely gone out on my bike and felt cold. Calpe Rock is just covered in cloud today. Not that I'm complaining, of course, I'm just stating that today is a little bit colder. So where are we riding? What's this cafe called we're going to today? Uh, it's called The Origin, The Origin. The origin. The origin. The origin. The D. In uh, a place called Altea. And according to Matt, you know, quote him if, if he's wrong, send him some abuse. But apparently, a stand, ah, apparently it's one of the top five coffee shops in the whole of Spain. How big are we going today? Is it a coffee there? Is it coffee and cake? It's a, uh, yeah, coffee and cake probably. Just one I coffee? Think we're going to, oh, I'm not really a big coffee fan, so yeah, just the one. Got to do it. You drink hot chocolate like Lawrence? Um, I do, but the hot chocolate in this place is like you get a cup of hot milk and some like almost <laughs> minstrels and you have to mix them. <laughs> so I'm not too sure about that. Inevitably, the cafe that we're going to go to today, you know, it's a known cafe and like decent cafes always are popular amongst among the cycling community. It's a known fact, everyone knows cyclists love coffee, or most cyclists love coffee, sorry. The only problem is to get to this cafe that we're going to today, it's a, just like one straight main road out of Calpe down towards Benidorm to a town called Altea. So I'm trying to ride as sensible as possible whilst also filming with the camera. Like, there's a lorry behind us right now. I feel like I should put the camera away. Can you hear that? <laughs> Sounds like there's a rainbow in the back of that van. <laughs> is that a professional fight? I think it is, you know. Very shiny, that's how you can tell, isn't it? What's in that cake, Matt? <laughs> bit of chocolate, bit of Guinness, maybe. Can I see your ID, please? <laughs> you cannot. <laughs> Too bad. Are you A, cold, or B, about to rub a bank? Both. <laughs> <laughs> Decent cafe stop. Also got two coffees. It was a 45 minute ride out into a block headwind. So I'm hoping the return is gonna be a little bit quicker and also a little bit easier. Plus we met some more guys at the cafe which means more guys to ride in the front and hopefully that means more time for me spent at the back. 100 Matt, do it 100. Impressive. Most I impressive thing that's ever been on your vlog ever. To use them right there. <laughs> oh really? Oh, that's <laughs> One of the guys that joined us at the cafe for the return leg home was David and one of the, like a question that I've been getting asked quite a lot in, in the videos is obviously I spent some time in Girona last year and I spent time in Calpe this year. David lives in Girona, he's also spent time in Calpe so I'm going to pass the question to you. If you, if you were going to go on a two week cycling holiday, would you go to Calpe or would you go to Girona? Um, the Orca mate. <laughs> never been but heard good things. They have it, in the Orca. That was a solid rest day ride today. 45 minute ride out, then a 30 minute ride back with that tailwind. The Origin Coffee House in Altea lived up to all expectations and it's definitely gonna be one I return to. So after training, me and Lawrence came down again to uh, to a cafe in town. Today we're at Tango. We've both got some work to do. Lawrence has got some work. I've got some editing. We've kind of got in a little bit of a routine like in the afternoons after training. 
like we come into town, find a, find a cafe with, with some decent Wi-Fi and then just crack on with some work. And I think that's really important, especially when like we're both here in Spain for so long. I feel like you can get into a rut of uh, just training and then coming back, sitting in the villa for the rest of the day, going to sleep, training again, and it just becomes a, a monotonous cycle. This way, coming into town, finding a cafe and doing some work really does help to break that up a little bit. But anyway, yeah, quick update. We've been sat in here for three hours now. Three hours and we're still going. So, about a month ago, you made a video on your channel telling telling your viewers that uh, unfortunately your team this year or last year has has like folded and, and you haven't basically you haven't got a team for next year. Like, what's the update of that situation? Yeah, so basically, let's have that in the background. Look, lovely hotel. There you go, Demante. Uh, that's where all the proteins go. Yeah, if you didn't know. Yeah. yeah so um, obviously, Catford folded last minute, and that was. It was a little bit of a blow because it was so late in the season and I didn't have any other backup choices. So um, I've decided to, instead of settling for a worse team that maybe I deserve slightly better than, um, I've decided to go as a private member and do my own thing. It means that I can do the free, have the freedom to do what I want basically and uh, maybe make some more videos and, and that kind of thing. But it does mean that I don't have the support, I don't have sponsors, I don't have a bike being given to me I don't have race entries paid so basically I've put together a proposal and I'm hoping to in return for a bit of publicity get some money um, slash equipment because no one else is really at an elite level like here in the UK no one else is really doing doing what you're doing yeah it's yeah a new thing so. I think I think it's a unique opportunity and I think I think it's gonna be really exciting like as they say, one door closes and another opens. Do you so. feel like you'll be at any any disadvantage race on your own, like without a team, or do you think that's going to play into <clears> your own hands? See, I think if I was a sprinter, I think I'd, I'd really struggle because suddenly I'm not having a lead out. I'm I'm on, on my own the whole time. But the, the type of rider that I am, yeah. I often fight for myself. I'm often in the breakaway, and yeah, cycling is a team sport. But I think I think I'll be okay. Oh. <laughs> Can it run over? Sorry, mate. <laughs> We're in the way, mate. Always in the way. I, th I think what will really suck is is like getting to races. Like obviously, I'm getting a car next year, so that will help. But like supporting races, yeah, and the money side of things. I think that's the two that I really struggle with. But on the whole, it'll be alright. I think it'll be alright. I'm looking forward to it. All right, guys, back home at the villa now. And just before we lose the light completely, uh, that's going to be the end of today's video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I'd really appreciate a thumbs up. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow at five. Here.